Hey traders, so for a while now I've been promising to expand the channel to cover broader trading subjects and concepts. And the time has come to do that. Now I'm not going to abandon or neglect PineScript. PineScript is still an amazing language and I will continue to teach that. However, I've taught that for a few years now. I've covered pretty much everything that I'm a specialist in. And in my own trading, I've been branching out into other software for my backtesting purposes when it comes to the stock market. The TradingView strategy tester is fantastic for single market systems. So currency traders, uh, traders who trade indices, some commodities. But when it comes to trading and testing a portfolio of stocks where we're trading multiple stocks in the same system simultaneously, uh, TradingView has some major limitations when it comes to that. And that's why I've been studying real test. And I've gone through a mentorship program with Nick Raj, who is a reputable Aussie trader. He's been trading for decades. He's much, much smarter and more experienced than I am. He's a veteran trader. He's been trading uh, since the pit days. And um, he's a big proponent of real test. And I've learned a lot of what I know from him. And in some of the videos to come early this year, I want to branch out into real test, show you guys how this software works. The first video is going to be how to install and get your um, stock data or data for you Americans uh, set up and integrated. Uh, but for today's video, I just want to do a teaser video and show you guys why I'm excited about real test. So what you see here is a back test from a system I actually trade in the live markets. It's a mean reversion, long only US stock market system. Um, it trades 20 positions at a time, 20 different stocks. And if I delete this test really quick and come to my script. Here is my code. It's very different to PineScript, but it's just as simple. So I'll be teaching you guys the syntax and basics of this code in the videos to come. But if I hit test here, look how quickly we test over a couple of decades from 1991 till today, 8,336 days of trading over 35,800 trades. Here are my back test results. So we've got a 32% annual rate of return with a pretty nasty 27% max drawdown that was hit. I'll go over that later in the video, but this was hit recently. It's max drawdown was hit recently. Before I started trading the system, the drawdown was closer to 24%. So anyway, not terrible metrics. Um, I'm comfortable with a lot of risk. A lot of my systems do tend to hover around a 30% max drawdown. Um, there's no, there's no free lunch in trading. So the higher your rate of return, the higher your drawdown tends to be. I have some things in the works that, um, reduce this drawdown a bit, but in reducing the drawdown, it reduces my rate of return. So these are the sort of things I want to cover on the channel going forward. Uh, but anyway, for today's video, let me right click this and go show summary report. Here is all the trade um, statistics for the system. 58% win rate. We trade 20 positions with, with leverage. So for every dollar I have, I can trade $2. And we took 35,850 trades. And that back test took about I don't know how many seconds, less than 10 seconds. And that is the power of real test. And so in today's video, I just want to give you a teaser, give you an example of my trading process. Every day I go through this process and place my trades. And I just want to show you guys how easy it is to use real test to semi automate your trading process in the stock market. So today's video is going to be more of a teaser video. Um, it's not particularly instructional other than just giving you insight into how I trade. So if that doesn't interest you, you might wanna skip this video and wait for the next one where we'll go into how to install the software and, and the basics of its syntax, that sort of thing. But for those of you who are curious about this software and what it can do for you, let's get started. All right, so here I wanna show one of the main advantages of using real test um, to trade a portfolio of stocks. So here I have my interactive broker account. This is a mean reversion portfolio. So this system trades um, sell-offs in stocks, it buys sell-offs, and the goal is to capture small bounces across 20 different stocks. I do use leverage on this account, so whatever my net liquidity is, I can double that to, to buy stocks with. Uh, because we're capturing such small bounces, this system does depend on leverage to make a meaningful amount of money. So every morning, I come into my office, I turn on my computer, I come to this folder and double-click this batch file, which runs a bunch of commands which generate 20 orders or up to 20 orders that I need to place into the US stock market using interactive brokers. So if I double click this, I'll fast forward this bit, but it doesn't take very long at all. So now it's opened up Norgate data. So it's downloading the latest stock data, as you can see here, that's done. Now it's running real test to import the latest stock um, price data. 
which for me is overnight trading because I live in Australia, if you couldn't tell from my accent. So the US market trades overnight for me, starting at midnight, roughly. Now, depending on how beefy your computer is, this can take a very short period of time or a longer period of time. Mine just completed then. And now real test is generating my orders. Order generation successful, we're done. So now if I open up this um, Excel file here, here are my orders for today. Or well, the US market will open tonight for me at midnight. And these are the orders I need to place into my broker. So first I need to sell these markets. I can automatically import this entire list into interactive brokers using um, their, it's called Basket Trader. I do that for my buy orders. These are all limit orders with a one day expiry. Um, but for my sell orders, I like to sell these manually just so that I can keep tabs on what the system's doing, especially early on to a system. I've only been trading the system for about six months. So I, I like to keep my um, sort of fingers and eyes in the system while it's new. So now what I do is I drag this Excel sheet onto my second monitor. I open up interactive brokers and I go through my open trades list, which is on the right here. And I sell each stock that I need to sell. So I need to sell Docu, which would probably be DocuSign. Yeah, uh, something I use a lot with my accountant. Uh, DocuSign. So I've set up my interactive brokers so that I can just click on the stock, click close position and click market. And that just placed a market order to sell this, market, uh, this stock at the next markets open. So tonight at midnight, when the market opens, the US market opens for me, this stock will be immediately sold at market. I don't recommend doing this in the Australian stock market if you're an Aussie watching this because uh, we do have some issues with slippage uh, because the Aussie market is not quite as liquid and uh, things work a little bit differently in Australia. Uh, but in the US at the market opening auction, we can be pretty sure that we're going to get a decent price, especially with such a small account. We've only got about 40,000 US dollars here, which sounds like a lot of money to most retail traders, but it's obviously not a lot in the context of the US stock market, which trades trillions of dollars. So we can be pretty sure that this will be sold okay at the open. Next up is Excel, close market. FTI, close market. And while I'm doing this, I'm just looking at the chart, glancing at the chart, making sure nothing funky is happening, making sure the system's not doing anything particularly crazy that um, perhaps I didn't account for in my back test or notice in my back test. So FDI next up is IVZ. This was a profitable trade. You can see the system's buying these wicks. That is exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for a market to sell off, hit my limit order, bounce for the day, and then we sell at the next markets open. So close that at market. Next one is PXD, another small profitable trade. This green line is where our trade was bought. I don't know why interactive brokers do it this way. It's a bit weird to me. I wish this was just a line or something instead of a gradient. But anyway, I can probably change that in the settings. I just haven't bothered. Uh, but you can see this particular trade, uh, we really bought the low of the day. That's pretty rare. <laughs> I can't zoom in any more than this, but um, wow, we really caught the low of the day on this particular market that probably wouldn't happen with a larger account size um, due to liquidity constraints. But anyway, uh, close this at market. Final one is STWD. So now this was a nice little winner, close at market. So we're not making a lot of money with this system. It's only a hundred something dollars today. It makes a, on average a hundred, two hundred dollars a day on a good day. It's got a very high win rate so it will often end the day profitable, but not by a hell of a lot of money. And the whole point of the system is to offset my trend following systems. So when we do have a volatile day, that's a bit of a whipsaw day, this system tends to do really well in those market conditions. So if the market's going sideways, this system does very well. If the market is trending, some days it won't buy any stocks because nothing sold off to its limit order. And in those days, my other accounts do well. My trend following systems do well. And so the whole point of this system is to offset bad days for my trend following systems. I consider myself primarily a momentum and trend following trader, um, but I did make this system to complement my trend following systems. Anyway, I digress there. That's just giving you some insight into my trading techniques and style. We're done. Normally this process is a lot quicker for me because I'm not explaining what I'm doing. Normally I can have this completely done from start to finish, from generating my orders to closing interactive brokers. I can have that done in about three minutes 
Um, usually I'll generate the orders, go make a coffee. By the time I get back, they're done. And this whole process of selling my open positions and importing my new positions takes about two minutes. Um, you'll notice that it didn't close all of the trades in this list. That's because of the way the system rules function. It does keep some trades open longer than one day. I'm not gonna give away the rules to the system in today's video, but you can see this stock is still open. Uh, the reason for that is that the system needs to close for a profit or hit its stop loss and its stop loss is closing below this um, short term moving average price is just above that. So we're holding on to this stock till tomorrow and hoping for that bounce to come in tomorrow. If it doesn't, we'll sell for a small loss, hopefully a small loss. You never know with stocks, they can gap down pretty bad some days, but that is a very rare occurrence. And conversely, sometimes they can gap up the next day. So that tends to offset any issues with gaps with this particular overnight system. Anyway, that's done. We've sold all our open profitable positions. We're keeping a couple of trades for another day or two. The final thing to do is import my new orders for tonight. That's really easy. Now, the way I've chosen to do this is I've just made a simple Google Sheets spreadsheet here. Um, let me zoom out my chart a bit. Um, and what I do here is I get my Excel spreadsheet here, copy all of these entries, just Control A, Control C, Control V into Google Sheets. I need to input my balance, which is uh, 39,100. 39100, boom. Now I can go to the orders tab and here are all my buy limit orders with the position size adjusted for my account balance. Next, I just click download CSV file, go back to interactive brokers, new window basket trader, browse for that file. Here it is, the latest orders file, click open, click okay, I'm done. Now I just click transmit and all of these orders get sent to my broker with the correct position sizing, correct buy limit prices, according to the system from real test, click transmit. And my work for the system's done for the day. Again, this seems complicated. It's really not. This really does take about three minutes per day. Um, I do this every day. Even if I'm on holiday, if I have an internet connection, I tend to do this just because it's just so quick and easy. It doesn't really bother me to have to do this. And there we go, we've placed about just under $80,000 worth of orders for tomorrow's market open. And it was done very quickly using real test. So in future videos, I'm going to do a basics guide on real test, how to install it, how to get Norgate data working with it. All of these things do cost money. It's not like trading view where it's all free. That's the catch when it comes to um, real test, but the price actually isn't that bad, especially if you're a serious trader, a professional trader. For me, because I run a company that deals with PineScript through the PineScript Mastery course, I actually have to pay about $4,000 per year to use TradingView. Here's my TradingView plan. Um, this is in US dollars, so it's nearly 4,000 Australian. So if I do USD to AUD, yeah, $3,700 a year to use TradingView for me since I sell a script, my ultimate pullback indicator. I have to subscribe to the commercial subscription, which is pretty steep. That's a pretty steep price Com compared to Norgate data. If we go to Norgate data, depending which data you opt for, uh, the US stock data starts at $270 per year and real test is a $389 one-off payment. Um, if you want updates, it does cost a little bit more to get the latest version of real test, but overall we're looking at about $659 to get started with uh, real test compared to, for me, um, nearly $2,400 on, on TradingView. And with real test, we get so much more when it comes to back testing. Um, I can run, this is my mean reversion system. Let's run a quick test on it and I'll show you what the performance metrics look like. So I just imported the latest stock data. Now if I click test, we'll run a quick test. Uh, it doesn't take very long at all. We just did a test in the time I was talking about this over 8,300 days. Let's go show summary report. Um, we took 35,000 trades over 8,300 days. I don't know how many stocks we traded, but it would have been thousands and thousands of stocks. We have about a 59% win rate, a 32% annual rate of return, according to this back test with a 27% max drawdown, um, which is pretty rough. The max drawdown is a bit steep. 
Um, that has only happened in the past couple of years, <laughs> of course. As soon as I start trading the system, it has its worst drawdown ever. Um, that's normal in trading. <laughs> that uh, You can be pretty sure that your system will have its worst drawdown after you start trading it. Uh, but anyway, I have some things in the work that should mitigate this drawdown. I am working on a market on close adaption adaptation to the system so that the trades are closed out before the market closes so you don't hold trades overnight um, that reduces the return by a decent margin uh, but it does shave the drawdown off by a big margin so that's a change i'm working on optimizing uh, but anyway you saw how quick all that was the uh, test here took a couple of seconds to perform over thousands and thousands of stocks uh, to do that in TradingView is obviously impossible. TradingView is fantastic for single market systems. So if you're trading indices or you're trading currencies, um, it's fantastic for that, even some commodities. Uh, but if you're trading stocks, it's borderline useless. The TradingView strategy tester does not have a portfolio-based uh, testing system, whereas RealTest does. RealTest can even trade multiple systems alongside each other. So we could have a mean reversion system and a trend following system trading the same pool of capital. And we could run that test and see how the two systems perform when traded simultaneously. We could see how they affect each other's uh, drawdown. And you can even compare the equity curve on the chart. So here's my equity curve for this system. Here's the month on month breakdown of profitability, the max drawdown for each year, the total return for each year, and a whole bunch of other metrics that we have to work with um, and you can even add your own metrics. We have some Monte Carlo analysis here. Um, you can add your own graphs and stuff to this, um, to this analysis as well quite easily. So in future videos, I will be showing you guys how to get started with real test. It's a whole new world. It's a whole new bag of worms, so to speak, um, compared to trading view. It has its own scripting language. It has its own nuances, its own style, its own software, obviously. And so this will probably become its own course one day, similar to the PineScript Mastery course. It's something that I'm still learning myself, uh, but it is a very, very powerful piece of software that I encourage all serious traders, especially if you're trading stocks, I encourage you to check this out. Um, with that said, I'll wrap this video up here and I'll speak with you in the next lesson where we'll go into um, how to get this software set up, how to get data importing through Norgate data and how to write your very first script. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to um, explore this new software. Just to be clear, I'm not giving up on PineScript. I will still be doing content for that. But when it comes to strategy development, I will definitely be focusing more on real tests for that side of things. When it comes to stocks, especially, there is just no point in using TradingView for stocks. Again, it's fantastic for single market systems. But when it comes to stock trading, you cannot beat software like real test. There's obviously Amy Broker is a similar software that's also quite good. I've used that in the past. And if you're in the Amy broker, there's no real reason to switch unless you want to backtest multiple systems simultaneously. That is an advantage that Realtest has over Amy broker. Uh, but anyway, I digress. That's enough for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll speak with you in the next video. Take care.